Governor DeSantis says he wants a definitive cause as to what caused the collapse. Breathtaking surveillance video shows the moment it happened. The federal government sending in a team of scientists and engineers to find answers. New photos clearly show the pancaking that happened when the condo levels collapsed on top of each other. The News 4 Jacks I team spoke with a forensic engineer today who says one of the potential causes at the top of their list is saltwater corrosion of both the concrete and rebar in the building. Tarek is here now with more. Tarek. Forensic uh, engineer Asher Cohen says that a primary concern for older buildings like the Champlain Tower South is the potential of corrosion from saltwater. When that saltwater gets into the concrete through cracks, he says the chemicals and elements used today to reinforce steel and concrete simply weren't available in the early 1980s construction. It's something we absolutely have to consider, you know, and so uh, I don't even think it's a stretch to say that we would be put that at one of the things at the top of the list based on simply it's not like it's something that's new. U.S. forensic engineer Asher Cohen is talking about the potential corrosion of concrete or rebar that could have occurred from chlorides found in salt water. He says the builders of the Champlain South Towers back in the early 1980s didn't have access to the technology of today. What has changed is, of course, materials have gotten better. We've had, you, you may mention when we spoke earlier about admixtures. They add things to concrete that will help prevent uh, corrosion to some extent but not eliminated, right? And um, it, then obviously the rebar itself, we have coated rebar, uh, which has its advantages and disadvantages. Uh, stainless steel rebar, uh, galvanized rebar had been used, um, as well as other types of alloys that have been added to rebar to help protect it from corrosion. Cohen says salt water can enter into concrete through existing cracks in the building and over time begin to corrode areas that the eyes cannot see. He describes the end result as spalling, which is essentially when the steel inside the concrete expands. We can see usually when this starts to happen and it gives us a warning. OK, hey, look, we start to see a crack. Maybe we start to see some corrosion staining, a reddish type of staining on the surface or on the underside of that slab. Yeah. Then it starts to expand as the corroded steel starts to expand. It will actually cause what they call spalling, which is it actually blows the concrete out. Again, this all happens progressively. It doesn't happen over a week or a month. It happens over many, many years. Cohen says he has confidence that the engineers who were preparing to conduct the building's 40-year inspection didn't notice any evidence pointing to a catastrophic failure of this magnitude. He hopes when the cause of the collapse is eventually determined, Florida's building codes will become more rigid and strict. Sadly, in the history of humanity, we have learned most from failure. And um, it's just a tragedy that human lives were lost. Um, we will learn from this. We'll get better. And uh, rest assured, I, I'm sure there will be new legislation and new rules and regulations put in place to make sure that nothing like this happens again. The six scientists and engineers being sent to the site by the federal government are from the National Institute of Standards and Technology, which is the same government agency that investigated structural failures of the Twin Towers after September 11. Joy.